A Swedish social democrat politician named Åsa Regner, formerly our government's minister for child care and elderly and the minister for gender equality, recently told the Swedish National Board for Health and Welfare to write a brochure named Information for You Who Are Married to a Child. This contains exactly what you'd expect from a Swedish authority that is responsible for protecting the elderly and children, namely the cultural relativizing of pedophilia. I here also want to thank my dear friends on Twitter for helping me to get a hold of this brochure. The Swedish National Board for Health and Welfare have faced a massive backlash for publishing it because it's disgusting, and they freaked out and tore down the brochure from their website before I had any time to download it. Anyway, this little disgusting handbook starts off by meekly telling the pedophile that marrying a child is illegal in Sweden. Well, due to our completely moronic law surrounding marriages having been entered into abroad, it is in practice not illegal to be married to a child in Sweden. Just get married to a child in your home country and then drag her back to Sweden and pass her off as being your daughter. Sweden legally respects marriages that have been entered into abroad either way, so... whatever. This loophole in our laws is now being prepared to be shut, but such a legal rewrite won't become an actuality until the earliest next year and simply reference the decision to the fact that such a bill is already being prepared for 2019. Why the hell they didn't just vote in favor for it right away is a question I'm gonna let them respond to if they can, which I really doubt. Upon reading this brochure, I immediately reacted to the way that it's been written. The wording in the text is similar to what you'd expect to read in something that's been written for a tourist. Very polite, modest, and careful. In the text you can, for instance, read... The social services may suggest that you don't live together under a shorter or longer period of time. The reason behind this is to make sure that the child receives the protection and support it deserves and is entitled to. You got that? Our social services are playing hardball here by telling the pedophile that he may not be allowed to live with his child's bride because they first need to make sure that she's okay. Let that shit sink in. In the brochure you can also read a long list explaining more in detail why marrying and fucking a child is not a good idea, since that apparently needs to be clarified to some people. In Sweden it's illegal to get married to a person who is below the age of 18. There are many reasons for this. Children have the right to be children and not have the responsibilities that come with marriage. Children should go to school, they should get educated and evolve as an individual, and develop their own hobbies. Okay, so one of the threats you face as a child bride is being robbed of the opportunity to join a book club or take painting classes. Got it. Getting married early often leads to early parenthood, which gives increased risks for the child both short and long term. Well, since women generally start ovulating somewhere between 11 and 12 years of age, you can probably see the problems that a 12-year-old is going to face when going into labor. In addition to physical complications, a child mother, according to a study published by the health journal Pediatrics, where they studied more than 6,000 Canadian women between the ages of 15 and 19, also are twice as likely to suffer from postpartum depression upon being compared to women aged 25 and older. Child mothers also have a greatly increased risk of having post-traumatic stress disorders and suicidal thoughts. But what the hell, at least Sweden's social services are going to make sure that the pregnant child will still have a possibility to practice a hobby. Fucking idiots. It is also just beyond retarded that they later in the text write that early marriage can lead to a life where the child is oppressed. Can lead to? Why all of this pathetic squirming at the feet of pedophile assholes? I don't understand that. Marrying and impregnating a kid is a form of oppression. It is an act of oppression against a kid. What the hell is wrong with these people? Let's just look at this list they wrote. It's a list where our Swedish government, yet again, tries to act tough with the pedophile husbands by showing a list of everything that is expected from them while they're living in Sweden. All children, boys and girls, have the same rights. Everyone who enters into a marriage has the right to get a divorce, even if the other partner doesn't want to. Sex is voluntary. <laughs> Sex is voluntary. <laughs> even in marriage. You gotta remember that. Sex is voluntary. It's good to have this list. Everyone should have access to information about sexual and reproductive health and rights. A girl or a woman has the right to terminate a pregnancy if she wants to. A girl or a woman. When a person turns 18, that person has the right to decide for themselves. This is the rules in Sweden. 
The paragraph about who was the child's guardian is also clearly written by someone who is completely blind to the norms which are being held as true by the brochure's target audience. You who are married to a child can never take over the parent's responsibilities. You as a husband or wife, husband, I mean, let's face it, you as husband cannot speak for the child. Yeah, because that's not likely to happen. Seriously, how naive can you possibly get? Of course the pedophile piece of garbage husband is going to speak instead of his child bride. She is just going to keep her mouth shut all while he explains to the social worker just how fine and dandy everything is. When are the morons at our social services going to realize that these people are not a family? The shit that is going on here isn't a family, it's just a disgusting pervert who is exploiting the innocence, dependency, and insecurities of a kid in order to oppress and sexually and mentally abuse her. She isn't his wife. They're not a family. And even if she due to some Stockholm Syndrome mental afterbirth, thinks that the pedophile husband actually loves her and wants what is best for her, he doesn't. And do you know how I know this? No man, no real man who respects and views his wife as his equal, marries a kid. End of discussion. It is an act that is intentionally being done in order to be able to groom a young girl who is yet too inexperienced and too dependent upon others to know what the world has to offer her and what she herself can accomplish in it. The massive age gap is intentional, since the gap in financial and social self-dependency is also intentional. And don't for a second try to bullshit me into believing otherwise. They have the idea of grabbing the child early in order to keep the girl or boy docile, dependent, and weak. That is not a marriage. It's just a perverse and most of all cruel abuse of power. Stop calling it married. They're not married. I've seriously heard people respond to this by saying, But that is just like any marriage. The wife on average earns less than her husband. So then she's also being oppressed. Earning a couple of hundred bucks a month, less than your husband, isn't the same as being kept perpetually knocked up, housebound, depraved of an education, and as a result being robbed of the possibility of ever achieving economic self-dependency and self-realization. These perverted pieces of trash don't value the education of women, and as a result they don't value the ability for women to create their own path in life. In all of the countries where the practice of child marriage is prevalent, the education of women isn't viewed as anything of worth, which is why these countries tend to be garbage heaps. One of the two most effective ways of making a country less shitty is to establish a secular constitution, which is a point that a majority of crap countries have fucked up already from the start, and then secondly, to educate the nation's women. Because the fact that it's a bad idea to keep half a nation's population outside of the workforce and uneducated should really surprise no one. I'm in complete support of women who choose to stay at home and take care of the kids instead of furthering a career or some academic endeavor, but it should always be optional. All prosperous nations have equal opportunity for women to get educated and become economically independent. A majority of the countries that you would never want to live in have the complete opposite. And there are very few ways more effective in order to reduce a woman to a permanent serf than to snatch her up as a young girl and keep her dependent and keep her knowledge about her options in life and possibilities in the world thin. And this is a practice that is through this pathetic booklet normalized and tolerated. The Swedish National Board for Health and Welfare have, as I mentioned earlier, retracted the brochure in order to look it over. So I thought I'd give them some tips about how a new brochure should be written instead. Okay, first off, skip the image in the front. It's disgusting and it sickens me to even look at it. Get rid of it. Now let's look at the list you made about the rules in Sweden regarding child marriage. I'm going to be very clear here. If anyone coming to Sweden doesn't already know and support everything that is on this list, they should never be allowed to stay. If it is news to anybody that boys and girls have the right to equal opportunity, they're never going to integrate in Swedish society. This is so fundamental that I frankly have no faith whatsoever in integrating a person who struggles with this basic concept of treating people equally, as equal human beings. So I will start with something that looks like this. I'm going to read it for you. Marrying or being married to a child is illegal in Sweden and in all other civilized nations. 
A marriage is to be entered into by two equally consenting adults, both having the same freedom of choice. A child marriage is as a result an act of oppression, since the child bride or groom is not an adult and is unable to freely consent to such a decision due to their young age and inexperience regarding all of the responsibilities of adulthood and what a marriage actually entails. If you, as an immigrant or a refugee, marry a child in Sweden, you will be deported. If you are a citizen, you will be prosecuted. If you are a parent in Sweden and support marrying off your child to an adult, you will be convicted of child abuse and the Swedish Child Protection Services will be contacted and you might lose custody of your child. If you have sex with a child in Sweden, you're a sex offender, no matter if you think you're married or not. You are not the child's husband or wife. You are a criminal and a pervert, and you're not welcome in Sweden. Not now, not ever. I would also add this in the end of the brochure since it's supposed to be informative and we can't afford having the pedophiles being confused about anything, right? So I'd conclude by writing, If any of this information about not molesting and abusing children is still difficult for you to understand, you can call your local police station. I'm sure that they will be more than willing to clarify some things for you. The end. There's my brochure in its entirety. That's all the information anybody should ever need about marrying a child in Sweden. But instead we have this lightweight beat around the bush bullshit, and it's completely worthless.